World's Fairs happen every couple years around the planet. They have that way of bringing the world together, often around a central theme, and a way for folks to learn from each other and to build those understandings and relationships for the long term. When you are bold enough to say we want to hold the World's Fair, people stop. Conversations turn into a more serious kind of conversation. Well, tell me more about Minnesota. Minnesota, Minneapolis, Mississippi River, Mayo Clinic. Wow, what is this place? 3M, we know little bits, but let's look at this closer. So that's one part of the vision, is having an experience, and people come, sometimes they'll come for a week or longer, but an experience where young and old, but especially young, can be inspired to say, I can be part of creating that future. So let's say you have three million people from overseas and maybe nine million people from around the U.S. Those three million people coming from overseas would be spending about six billion dollars. Second part of the impact is that people tend to organize other conferences and convention and events around World's Fair. So you also have many more people coming because they're so organizing their activities around that fair. Minnesota is loaded with kind of perfect places. We are very in innovative and creative. We are the top state in terms of civic engagement, whether it's voting or volunteerism. How do we make sure that where it is, is well connected to other parts so that everybody can benefit from this opportunity.